There are many devices which collects the data and share it. The data logger is one of the example of it. Now let's suppose you are collecting a multiple data from weather station. Uh, data like temperature, humidity and wind speed. The weather station shares your data in a huge text file. And now you want to analyze this data for research purpose. So the first question comes in your mind is how to import this huge text file in MATLAB. And in this video, we'll see two methods to import text file into MATLAB. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first in home tab, just click on the import data and then go to the folder where your text file is placed. So let me jump to that folder. So here weather data one, that is our text file. So when you select that text file, it will pop up in this way. And let me also show you how that text file looks like, right? So this is the real text file that we have just imported weather underscore data underscore one. So this is the file that we have imported and the same thing you can see over here. Now minimize it and see all the data is available in table format, right? So what we'll do, we'll just right click and import the data. Now just close it and here you can see the data has been imported into the table format. Now when you double click this table, all the data has been automatically separated from each other. From here you can rename the variable, right? So this is the name of the variable. Let's call it as read. This is the reading of temperature. So I have updated name of all the variables, readings, temperature, humidity and wind speed. And when I was changing the name, the similar command execution you can see into the command window. So by writing this command, you can change the name or by directly changing the name, you can implement this thing. So it's just a vice versa process. So now let's close it. Now if you want to extract some of the variable from this table, then you can easily do it. Let's say the first variable is named as read. So by writing this line, you can extract this entire read variable. For that, what you need to do, you need to write the name of data set that is weather data one dot read. And just run this section. And you can see here we have created new variable name reading which is 40 cross 1 matrix and you can see here this is 40 cross 1 matrix the same way you can do this for all these four variables so that's how you can store all the columns of this data set into the different variables now let's run this thing and see we have got humidity reading temperature and wind speed all are 40 cross 1 matrix all you can see here and then using this data you can do any analysis you want to do in MATLAB now it's time for second method and after this I'll show you how to plot this text data for analysis in second method we are going to read entire text file using commands and to do that the command that we are going to use is read table so what do we supposed to do here this is the name of our new variable data the command we are going to use for this is read table and we are going to store all the data into this new variable called data. So in first place you are supposed to give entire path of your text file. So what do we do? We will just delete it. We will go to the folder where our actual file is located. So here our actual file is located weather underscore data underscore one. We will copy the entire path and just paste here. Now if you see. If you see entire path, it's very long. If we write this entire path over here, it becomes very long. So what do we do? We'll make another variable file path and over here we'll write file path. So instead of writing this entire path, we'll just write file path and this file path means 
this section over here we have just specified the location the folder of that file but in that folder there are varieties of files right so in that folder which file we are talking about that we need to mention so at last we supposed to write the name of the file and that is this weather underscore data underscore one so we'll write over here dot txt okay so we have given the path now it's time for this section header lines what does this header lines means let me show you our text file this is our text line in this this first second third and four this four line are just information and after this four line our actual data begins right so this four lines is known as header lines and we want to skip these lines we do not want to include this line as a data right so what do we do there are four lines line one two three and four so we'll mention header lines is four so what it does when it reads that text file it just skips the first four lines and the remaining lines it will take it as a raw data the real data so here first we'll delete all these things okay so enter a workspace is empty now and now let's run this section so here you can see this is our file path and this is the data 40 cross 4 table just double click it and here you can see the entire table has been imported and over here by default name of all these variables are we are variable 1 2 3 and 4 the same way as we did earlier if we want to extract each and every element into a separate variable then we supposed to do follow the same process just close it and we'll run it again and here you can see humidity reading temperature wind speed all are stored in a separate variable and now i'll show you how to plot the graph using this data so this is the section that we have added and let's run this thing and this is the graph here you can see it is graph versus temperature versus reading humidity versus reading and wind speed versus reading there are special functions used over here and if you want to learn this thing then watch this video there i have explained everything in detail and after reading this text file if you want to know how to write in text file from matlab then watch this video so this must be really interesting thing how you can store the data in text file from matlab so see you in this videos